Good evening. My name is Wahid Lutfi. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, 1-21-2023. That's January 21st. And um, you're uh, watching my Web University Free Educational Videos. In this session, I'm going to show you how to update um, one or more files. Could be one file or could be hundreds, could be thousands, could be... Uh, <laughs> more than thousands, millions, doesn't matter how many files you want to update on your web server. And so I will show you uh, some uh, technique on shell scripting, as well as uh, HTML uh, contents update or some configuration files update with this uh, script. It's very cool script. It's uh, written in uh, Unix shell script or uh, Linux or Unix. So you can use it in any Unix web server, as well as um, configuration files and other stuff. So for example, this uh, website that I'm currently logged on, mywebuniversity.com index.html. And if I just go to this copyright, as you can see today is January 21st, I need to uh, change the copyright from 2022 to 2023. So uh, sometimes um, you're working on a web uh, server or some kind of um, web hosting company or something, the boss might ask you to write a script to update in the year from copyright this. And if you are not the sole re, um, writer or developer for that uh, website, the text that is uh, changing could be all over uh, the place. Could be just in one file or thousands of files. So if you want to just update them in one shot rather than just take weeks of updating each directory one by one, and then it would take too long. You write a script to automate it, and this is the script I'm gonna show you here. So let me just go to the Unix script that I already wrote it, and I have opened it. And as you can see on the first line, I have the shebang slash bin and bash. The basically it is saying that use a bash. You could also change this one to say, uh, sorry, to say user ben env then bash. So it just uh, that's more kind of um, dynamic saying that environment variable env binary is going to load the interpreter bash. And this is usually on the user ben uh, and, and installed on every Linux and Unix and Mac uh, operating system. So ours operating system, which are uh, uh, Unix based in Mac, Linux, Red Hat, CentOS, Rocky, any one of them has installed this. So the line three through uh, 10 of my script is basically the description and then the author name, copyright and everything else. Uh, also my YouTube channel, which is uh, you're welcome to and just go to the YouTube channel, which is this uh, YouTube uh, channel that I showed you. And you're welcome to uh, like and subscribe and make comments. I have thousands, almost um, 900 uh, videos and you're welcome to watch them and just uh, learn from them. It's on a variety of uh, topics in computer science related subjects su such as shell programming, um, C programming, C language uh, programming, and then C++, Python, and um, uh, a lot of other uh, related uh, topics that I'm covering here. Windows operating system, PowerShell, command line syntax, and then um, name it. You can see all of this one. Installation of virtual box and uh, writing object-oriented programming, all kinds of things. You will find videos there. So. Um, the topic that we are going to discuss today is to run the shell script. And I'm on line uh, 11 now since we talk about the uh, line up to line 10. So this two line uh, 13 and 14 basically is the two string. If this uh, string is uh, whatever uh, uh, content of uh, uh, string one that you want to modify it uh, to whatever content uh, you modify it to. So this would be replaced from 2022 to 2023. Since the unique uh, string is going to match here, I don't need to worry about it because I'm just changing this. And then if I want to change it somewhere else, like I could put the entire uh, command like this inside the string one, it will just be more uh, universal there that 
I only want to just modify those ones. But I know that they are not using anything on the HTML contents with uh, anything else. So I want to make sure that if I don't have this string matching, I still find this two string unique in that way. So this will definitely hit it. And then the directory where you want to um, modify it, uh, make the updates to. So that is coming from dollar sign one, which is uh, provided to the command line. And as you can see on line 22, I say a usage dollar sign zero is the name of the script itself. In this case, update, uh, the name of the script is update underscore string one to a string uh, two dollar search. So it will be just that if I don't provide it. And then it, uh, give you an example like ATC INET if you wanna just configure it. So originally I wrote this one for the purpose of um, like one web server or one uh, Unix machine I was having some kind of issues. We want to just configure everything on the server and then including the IP address and uh, DNS names and host name and everything just to be copied. Uh, and then if we want to change it, for example, sometimes you need to change the host name. Sometimes you change it and need to change the IP address. Whatever you want to change, you could just uh, put it in string one and string two and whatever directory you want to change it to. So in this case, I'm changing the string one to string two on my uh, web server, uh, which is a, a web server that I'm running this website, mywebuniversity.com, um, DNS name. So, and this is the log where the log file get, gets created. You need to just uh, log it. So in case if something went um, not out of ordinary um, for any reason, you could observe the log file and then look at the log file to see what happened here. And then every time it runs it, it uh, cleans the log file first. By doing this, it checks the log file. If the file previously existed, I want to remove it. So I have a fresh new log file. And then here I'm using the find command on the directory that was provided, which was dollar sign one on line 17. So that one is going to be checked. And then at this uh, time, I'm going to use um, a file called contact.html contact.html, I want to just modify one file. So like here, if I just click in any of these terms of use or about us, you can see the file contact.html comes in. And then uh, in order for me to test it, I also made backup of this file so I could just make sure that when I make the changes, if something goes wrong, I can uh, just roll back the information. You can also run a, a backup of your web server before you make these changes. And then that would be a safe to just restore in case if you made a typo somewhere. So this is um, just uh, the information that will be changed to 2023 on the contact.html when I run the script here. So this script is basically modifying the contact.html. And then um, the way that I'm doing it within this find command, I find any file that has this name, then I'm checking for the type to be a regular file. Then I run the exact command and grep minus IL, meaning ignore the case for the thing and then match for this string. And then uh, this is like a loop and this is like pressing enter after each uh, line. So within this uh, two braces, it is going to go uh, uh, find as many files uh, or content of a string one matching. And then um, I'm also doing a grip out the name of my script. So it will not just uh, do the script itself. You wanna definitely uh, do this part, uh, which is uh, grip out, uh, grip minus V, meaning that uh, ignore my own script, and don't modify it on that script. Otherwise, because you have the string there, then it will be just modifying it. And by the time you just did it, there went something wrong. And then while read uh, file name, it is basically finding the file for each of them. And then uh, as it does, before I do it, I make up a backup of that file. So file one, uh, getting the file name and dot back, uh, whatever number of files matched it. And this case contact.html becomes contact.html dot back. Then I run the stream editorial set with dash E expression. And then I do the substitution command 
the S uh, means substitution. And this is start br bracket uh, is saying that a string one, and then whatever is uh, onto the dollar sign uh, string one, uh, updated to a string uh, dollar sign string two, the content of it. So, and then uh, I'm saying ignore it and then just globally, as many of them uh, as it finds it, it just does it. From this file uh, that I've searched it, and the new information should be written to file uh, name.temporary. So then I copy the file name.temporary back to the file that I had originally. And that way the modification is not lost. Then I just uh, change ownership on the uh, file uh, that was originally there because it's a web server. So I'm changing it to the user and group that I'm allowing it on the Apache web server. So that is on user group and uh, group uh, uh, accounts on the, your Apache web server or Tomcat or iPlanet or Netscape, whatever web server you're running. And then here I'm doing an echo file name update from string one to string two. And this file, if there's thousands of files, you just wanna write this log, uh, keep appending it. You can see the double greater sign, I'm sending it to the my log, and then my log was right here, defined to be in this file name. Then at the end, when I'm done, it says all done. And then uh, now output uh, uh, is written in this one. So you could uh, write this output uh, in one word. Uh, and there's a space here, there shouldn't be space. Output, uh, uh, you can say uh, the, the output is written to this file. So now you save it, W2, right uh, quick. Uh, that's what W key me me means. And then I'm gonna do a clear. And then at this time I say ls minus L D update underscore string one to string two dot sh. So notice that this file is um, read write executable by honor. And it's a regular file because it's a dot sh. And then read in, uh, executable by group and then read uh, dash executable. But uh, it's important that you have to be having enough ownership to see that if the file and some of them are owned and not by you, then you should be able to uh, modify them. Excuse me. So in this case, I'm just uh, doing uh, as root and uh, uh, that's what uh, this script is going to do. Clear the screen, I'm going to do update underscore string one, underscore string two dot sh. And notice it's um, providing me the usage to say that uh, you did not provide me the path. So if I just wanna run it on the current directory pwd, I could just run this command and just put a dot here. It will just run it there. All of a sudden, because it was only one file and it it's done already. Uh, see how fast it was there? So now it's uh, giving me this log file. And when I say uh, log file show me, it says that I modified the contact.html uh, from this string to this string. So notice that it's universal. The string, you just put it in the file a string one, and then inside this script, a string two, and you just change it. And now the contact.html is uh, done. So if I do a grip minus I for uh, 2000 on the uh, current directory for contact contact.html, and you can see that it is modified correctly. It is already updated. And if I just look at that dot back, which I made the backup of it, the backup was uh, this one. So this is what it was. Now let's see if on the web server, and uh, you can see that this is the original file. Now, if I refresh the web server because it's the same file, notice that it is changing here. So now if I go to this other one about us, because it's using the same contact.html, it is already updated here. If I go to contact us, uh, then it's still using the same uh, HTML file. Uh, it is updating it. So when you design your web server, it's very, very important for the next developer to make sure that you're not giving them a headache of just writing each file as manually creating it and creating these files. Make sure that if you could automate it in a way that you have a folder file and then the folder file always just have one file, contact.html. 
So when they modify it and they just modify it to that file. So, if, but if you just, let's say, wrote another file called demo.html and you made a copy of uh, your contact before this one, now the demo file is not going to be up to date. So now notice that the demo file has this one. So now if I wanna just do this one, similarly, if I wanna do demo1.html, I'm just showing you a couple of the demo. They're all a copy of uh, something, uh, but it is uh, 2022. So if I just wanna say, go ahead, show me a demo5.html. Let's see the demo5.html. You can see now this is a shorter file because it's a different file, but this is still 2022. And now if I say, show me demo4.html. So when I said you can do it more than one file or a hundred files, now I'm gonna just demonstrate to you how you can just update all the demo one through demo four or demo five from 2022 to uh, that one. So, and now you have uh, written this script already. Look how uh, simple it is. Vem update string one, uh, string two, dot sh. And you just go here and instead of the contact, you say demo star dot HTML. This one will just uh, find out any files with demo uh, that uh, had the extension dot HTML. So demo one, demo two, you could put demo question mark would be one, but what if the demo uh, uh, 11 or 10 is there or uh, demo 99, it, one question mark would not find it, then you have to put, put two question mark. But then a star would uh, match one or more uh, characters. So a star would be more uh, good. So here I'm going to just run, uh, say, update underscore string one, string two dot search. And since I know the syntax already, I said uh, update it on this. Now this time, notice that update uh, this, it should give me all the files with demo that got updated. And notice that it says I updated demo four, demo two, demo three, demo one, all of them from this string to that string. So it's a really cool script when you're uh, having uh, like a massive things that you need to change it and on the fly now. 2003 is updated here. And then in 2005, and we just uh, refresh it again. And then it's updated. Uh, if I, I refresh, it is uh, going to show 2023 as it does. And similarly, if I just go for the demo, because that was demo one, for example, any of them, you could check all of them. It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you that uh, it does modify it. And then here it's uh, going to be that. You just have to refresh it and then it will show the new page and with 2023. So uh, another faster way that you could do it as a Unix uh, uh, administrator or programmer or developer, you could just say grep minus I uh, 2000, for example, on uh, demo start. This would just show you all the matching string for that one. And then since um, demo is uh, a directory, here you don't want to do that one. Um, if you want to just only check for the demo uh, version, that's fine. So you uh, could do something like this. And instead of demo story, you could say .html. And that would just show you all the files that are uh, having the, this. And then if you just say, uh, let me show uh, C of 2023, they're there. And if you just do to 2022, and because it's modified, it's not gonna find anything. Echo and dollar sign question mark, it just says that it's not found. But if I do a 2023 here, it's gonna find it, echo dollar sign question mark is gonna be zero, meaning successful, it found uh, this string. So this is uh, something that you can uh, check on it uh, using those tools, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just um, uh, modify the export. I wanna just uh, do this demo also. Export PS1 is equal. Um, I'm gonna just say a pound. That's good enough. A pound and then um, I'm going to uh, press uh, enter here. 
So now uh, my clear my screen. So I run the same command uh, with the uh, exp uh, port. You can see that those ones were all to uh, 2023. And then if I just say echo dollar sign question mark, here it says successful. And if I just uh, do this one with uh, 2023, uh, let's say just change it to uh, 22, that would be not finding anything because we modified every uh, string from uh, 2022 there. And the script uh, that we modified, it was uh, more update underscore string one, uh, string one, uh, string one, uh, string two dot search. This is just basically the file that it reads this is string and it modifies it to that string. And here's the whole script. So uh, let's just, um, now we demonstrate it. Let's uh, do it with the uh, entire um, web server's contents. So as you can see, I'm here. If I say find dot minus name uh, and then say star.html, and then if I just run this one, it's gonna just run thousands of thousands of files because I have manual pages and everything. So if I just uh, say clear the screen and then see how many of these files were there, it says 53,917 files. So at this time, the index.html file is not modified yet because I just did uh, everything with contact and index.html is it still uh, just pointing to um, pointing to the, to the 2022. So if I just wanna do a fresh uh, things for uh, this and then change the index.html, uh, notice how simple it is uh, running this script. And so um, before I um, do this one, say vim uh, update underscore string one and to a string two dot search. And then um, where I have demo, I just changed that one to index. And then I want to just change anything with index uh, one, index.html or anything. So I'm going to do that one. Say update underscore string one to string two dot search and on the current directory. And now it created this file. Let's just see how many files got modified uh, from what to what the string and it says, I modified it on chapter and chapter two and this file and then that one and so on. So one of them was uh, uh, this index.html file. And now if I refresh this screen, notice that this is uh, 2022 now, it's gonna be refreshed to 2023. And uh, it is already refreshed, 2023 you can see here on the bottom. Uh, so um, now I'm going to just, um, since I know that that many files are there, I'm going to um, clear a screen and say find dot minus name star dot HTML and then um, do a word count minus L. Since it's 53,917 files, I want to just say vem uh, update underscore string one uh, to string two dot search. And then uh, now this time I'm going to uh, modify it. And instead of index, I'm just going to say a star.html, any file with uh, any extension. So out of 53,000 files, let's see how long it takes it and how much um, efficiency and that the string is going to provide us on the fly with automation. So uh, it, and it requires an argument. I'm gonna give the current directory. Notice it's gonna take a little bit time to just run it. So if I just open another um, terminal here and then just clear my screen here and just say, let me just um, bring this one down here. And I say PS minus EF grep minus I, and then say update. So now you can see my update script is running. And then at the same time, I could do a, a trace on it to see. Uh, so that is trace have to be a root already sudo is you dash. These things I'm just showing you here, you don't have to do it. And so I'm root now, I could do s trace minus p, and then the main process that this one was started, most likely is um, 
there's a, a two of them here that are running. So I'm going to just run the, on the one that is uh, uh, number two, 302, or just run, let's run the first one, uh, 37, 16, 19. So you can do that one, uh, and that one invoke another process that now is waiting for it. So this is a fork another process, and then it is uh, doing it. So I'm going to do control C out of this one, um, of this uh, command. So um, as I just need to, let me just clear the screen here. And then I say, let's look at the uh, P, uh, PS3, process stream three. On this one, you can see that it is doing this find command also. So I need to, um, because it's waiting for that find, so I could do a grip minus, um, uh, grip minus I and then find command. So now the find command that is doing this star.html, we have this process ID for it. So we could do a PS3 and then this process ID minus P and then that would be the find command here. And um, it is just running this. Oh, PS3, I need to do um, S trace. A PS3 because that process was not doing anything. Now notice that that process is keep working on these HTML files. It opens it as a child process and it uh, creates a file descriptors and uh, it is just uh, on and on and on because it's 53,000 files. So uh, look at how fast, it, uh, how efficient it is uh, doing it. And then it's going to search for uh, those things. If it doesn't find it, doesn't do anything, but if it finds it, it's gonna just um, go update it. Uh, as we were talking about it, it looks like it finished. Uh, so you can see the last file that uh, was working on here was wahidlutfi underscore files. And then um, there's a lot of the things that is uh, updated here. The file get closed and then that, that's uh, basically saying that now I finished that one. So if I just um, go back to um, clear my screen here and say ps minus efa uh, grep minus i update, then there's no more update process. And if I just say grep minus i find, there's no more find command because the whole thing succeeded. And how do I know succeeded is right here. My script is completed and then the output is written here. So how do I know what is written? And this is the log. You just consult the log file that you wrote and then based on that one, it shows you all the files that got modified. Notice that Linux Ubuntu.html got modified that had that content. Now on my web server, 53,000 files were uh, scanned. And then basically it's kind of a, like a robot that it just uh, runs on the web server. It modified uh, those ones in maybe less than three or five minutes altogether. And it just modified everything other.html and everything. So if I just go, for example, grip minus i2000 on this file, just for as a test directory to see my web.html, you can see that this file does not have that string. Uh, so let's just look for the 2000. And that string was there. We modified it to 2023. So if I just look for 2023, 2023, it is uh, just going to show. Similarly, for this. Um, minus I 2023 20, for any of these ones like Linux Ubuntu. So uh, you could just see that it is there. Similarly for uh, a file grep minus I 2023 20, for uh, let's say my further file. So any of those ones you ch uh, check, uh, I just have to put 2023 20, here and then that will show those files are there. So now let's look at the web server for the index.html, it was 2023 already uh, refreshed and it is already showing 2023 here. So my web server now up to date and with all the information that I wanted to do. So some other pages that I was using previously, I already modified them. This script did not find it and it says this was already modified, so it's good. And um, all together, what is the um, uh, taking advantage of this script um, is that, let me just say, 
uh, cat minus n update underscore string uh, one to string two dollar search. So when you look at this script, basically, uh, let me do a clear screen and then five more. So as you can see from line one through line, uh, whatever, 20, 45, all together, this 45 lines is going to just help you out to just modify one or more files. I just say one or more files here. It could be thousands of files, one or more files, content of files that needs to be, could be 53,000, could be more than 500,000. As long as you just uh, put the string one uh, from uh, what you want to change it to, to a string two, whatever you want to change it to. It doesn't have to be these numbers. It could be uh, youtube.com to youtube1.com or at my web university, that link, whatever you want to just change it or a configuration for, uh, for example, etc. resolve.com file have the DNS name change or the IP address uh, changed or the host name change. It will just look into those files and it will modify it for you. And uh, a nice thing is this find command on Unix. You can run this uh, script uh, on Unix, Linux servers. Unix meaning that you can run it on Mac, Solaris, uh, AIX, all the platforms. They're all going to allow you this kind of uh, syntax and running the scripts. Altogether, it will be a very uh, neat script to just uh, run it for your web server and modify um, thousands of files in a very fast, efficient way. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you go to my web university uh, free education videos and uh, watch these videos and learn from it and then make some comments so I can improve it based on your needs. And um, that's all my job in here uh, as a part-timer for on the YouTube. Uh, so I just uh, have my full-time job, but I just do this one to help out in the community and every, uh, human being on uh, the universe that are um, willing to just learn on uh, online for free without having to pay for uh, expensive education or drive to some universities. So you're welcome to just um, subscribe and just learn. Um, I'm going to make more videos and more videos uh, uh, of uh, training for you and you will enjoy it. You will learn a lot from it as if you're uh, attending a the school. So God bless you all. Take care and uh, have fun. Bye-bye.